Today's video is not on knives, though it could be, of course. But the trick is that there are other tools that you can use. Now all of you know that I have a Red Ryder BB gun, and yeah, it's killed more rattlesnakes than all the other guns that I've ever been around. It's just an efficient, low-velocity, single-cock gun that does the job for me very accurately and cheaply. But I have a friends once in a while to talk about getting guns, so I asked permission from a friend that just picked this gun up uh, to do a review on that gun. It is a uh, Daisy 880. It will go 800 feet per second. Uh, the, uh, it will shoot BB or pellet. It is an excellent gun. The uh, gun itself will hold 50 BBs. If you can get a decent look at it here. It will hold 50 BBs. It has adjustable sights. That's a plus. Uh, to cock it, you just simply cock back. And you've got a BB in there. Push it forward. Push it. And it's locked. Make sure your safety's on. And she is a safe item. But to pump, you have to pull it up and you cock it like this. And the more you cock, the stronger the thing goes. And it does shoot quite well and quietly. Now, the idea behind a good pellet gun is quiet practice shooting. Maybe in your basement or maybe uh, in your backyard where it's legal, things like that. Uh, on out to maybe uh, at a lakes or wherever they permit shooting in your area. The range is nothing compared to a 22, so it's a lot safer to shoot a gun like this. That doesn't mean you can be foolish. You always have to be safe with every firearm. Hunter's safety is a must. I've taught that in my lifetime. And with that in mind, though, you can get very good with one of these. You should be able to bust aspirins all the time out there at 10 yards with a gun like this. I said aspirin. If you can hit that, you can hit anything. I said you go to aspirins, and you have them shooting aspirins with the pellet gun. Hey! Uh, that's the mindset. And even up to and including small game, uh, a handicapped person I know in another state, not Nebraska, got permission to use a pellet gun like this to hunt turkeys because his hearing wouldn't allow him to shoot and he didn't want to shoot crossbow. He had back trouble and everything. So they allowed him to use a pellet gun. Had all the license fees, permits, and permission. And he shot turkey with a pellet gun and did quite well with it. And he would get them in between ten, 5 and 10 yards is where he was shooting, calling in the turkey uh, toms and shooting them. And he said it was just such a blast and so enjoyable. But this gun does have that capability. It also has a capability of self-defense. It would be far from my first choice, but at the same time, if you have nothing better, this is a lot better than nothing. You bet. It has steel rifle barrel. Uh, shooting pellets in it is kind of a pain. You have to pull a BB out each time to get that pellet in there. That's kind of a pain. But other than that, that was the only real negative I had to this type of weapon. Again, I'm not one that wants to sit there and pump ten times. That isn't fun to me. But once in a while, I could see owning such a, a tool as this. I hope you enjoy shooting whatever BB gun you go with. Always be safe. And because the safer you are, the better chance all of us will get to enjoy the sport a lot longer. You can see the pellet hole in here. And of course it blew out the back side of that old can big time.